the passing of Chuck Connors, esteemed actor of American television and film, took a haunting turn when his wife unveiled a deeply concealed secret, shrouded in mystery and tragedy. I hate them, really, because I was getting very nervous. But after about an hour and a half, I survived. This revelation sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and his legion of fans, casting a somber hue over his cherished legacy. Join us as we unravel the poignant tale of Chuck Connors, whose life took a tragic turn when a long-held secret was unearthed by his wife. Family background and upbringing. Chuck Connors, born Kevin Joseph Alicius. Connors on April 10, 1921, in Brooklyn, New York City, hailed from a humble family background deeply rooted in Irish heritage. He was the son of Alan and Marcella Connors, hardworking immigrants who instilled in him the values of resilience and perseverance from an early age. Growing up in a working-class neighborhood, Connors experienced firsthand the challenges of making ends meet. But his parents' unwavering support and determination laid the foundation for his future success. Despite the financial struggles his family faced, Connors enjoyed a loving and supportive upbringing. His parents emphasized the importance of education and hard work, values that would shape Connors' character and guide him throughout his life. From a young age, he exhibited a natural athleticism and competitive spirit, traits that would later propel him to success in both sports and entertainment. Connor's early education included attending public school 112 and Boys High School in Brooklyn, where he honed his academic skills while also immersing himself in extracurricular activities. However, it was at Adelphi Academy, a private preparatory school, where Connors truly began to shine. There, he not only excelled academically, but also distinguished himself on the basketball court, showcasing his talent and passion for the sport. After graduating from Adelphi Academy in 1939, Connors continued his education at Seton Hall University, where he further pursued his love for basketball. At Seton Hall, he not only continued to excel athletically, but also demonstrated a keen interest in acting, laying the groundwork for his future career in entertainment. It was during this time that Connors made a significant decision that would shape his future trajectory. He changed his name from Kevin Joseph Aloysius Connors to the more succinct and memorable moniker Chuck Connors. This name change marked the beginning of his transition into the world of entertainment and would become synonymous with his illustrious career in Hollywood. It was a strategic move that reflected his desire to stand out in a competitive industry and leave a lasting impression on audiences. As Connors navigated the complexities of adolescence and young adulthood, he continued to excel both academically and athletically. Athletic achievements and military service. Connors' journey into sports began in his youth, where he displayed remarkable prowess in various disciplines, particularly basketball. His exceptional talent caught the attention of coaches and peers alike, laying the foundation for his future athletic endeavors. As a member of the university's basketball team, he dazzled audiences with his agility, strength, and strategic gameplay. Connor's contributions were instrumental in the team's success, earning him recognition as a standout athlete. Connor's athletic journey took a momentous turn when he was drafted into the United States Army in 1942, during World War II. Connors embarked on a journey that would see him traverse the battlefields of World War II with unwavering determination. During his service, Connors found himself in the thick of one of the war's most grueling campaigns, the Battle of Anzio. This pivotal engagement, characterized by its fierce combat and strategic significance, tested Connors' mettle as he confronted the harsh realities of war. Despite the relentless challenges and dangers that surrounded him, Connors displayed remarkable bravery and commitment to his fellow soldiers, earning the admiration of his peers and superiors alike. Connors' valor on the battlefield did not go unnoticed, as evidenced by the two Purple Hearts he was awarded for his courageous actions. These prestigious decorations, reserved for those wounded or killed in combat, 
underscored Connor's sacrifices and unwavering dedication to the cause of freedom. Each Purple Heart symbolized not only the physical wounds Connors endured, but also the profound sense of duty that drove him to confront adversity head-on. Beyond the accolades and medals, Connors' military service left an indelible mark on his psyche, shaping his worldview and instilling in him a deep sense of camaraderie and resilience. The bonds forged amidst the chaos of war would stay with Connors long after the guns fell silent, serving as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made by countless men and women in service of their country. Connors' military experience not only defined his character, but also provided a foundation upon which he would build his future endeavors. The discipline, courage, and sense of duty instilled in him during his time in uniform would serve him well in his subsequent career as a professional athlete and actor. Transition to Acting Chuck Connors' journey into the world of acting began as a bold pivot from his promising career in professional sports. After a shoulder injury curtailed his athletic aspirations, Connors embarked on a new path, determined to make his mark on the stage and screen. In 1948, Connors made his initial foray into acting on Broadway, where he appeared in the play Johnny Belinda. This early experience provided him with invaluable exposure to the theatrical world, helping to refine his skills and ignite his passion for performance. Despite his burgeoning interest in acting, Connors faced formidable challenges in establishing himself within the competitive landscape of Hollywood. His transition from sports to acting was not without its setbacks, as he grappled with the uncertainties and rejections inherent in pursuing a new career. Undeterred by the initial hurdles, Connors persevered, leveraging his natural charisma and determination to secure opportunities in television and film. In the early 1950s, he began making appearances in various TV shows and movies, gradually gaining recognition for his talent and versatility as a performer. One of Connors' breakthrough moments came when he landed the role of Lucas McCain in the iconic TV series The Rifleman, which premiered in 1958. Portraying the rugged and principled rancher, Connors captivated audiences with his commanding presence and nuanced portrayal of the beloved character. Throughout his early acting career, Connors' resilience and determination served as guiding principles, propelling him forward in the face of adversity. His willingness to embrace new challenges and adapt to evolving industry trends ultimately cemented his status as a formidable presence in Hollywood. Breakthrough Role The Rifleman Chuck Connors' breakthrough role as Lucas McCain in the TV series The Rifleman marked a pivotal moment in his career solidifying his status as a household name and cementing his place in television history. Set in the 1880s in the fictional town of North Fork, New Mexico Territory, the series followed the adventures of Lucas McCain, a widowed rancher and skilled marksman, raising his young son Mark, portrayed by Johnny Crawford. What set the rifleman apart was its innovative use of the Winchester Model 1892 rifle, as both a tool for justice and a symbol of paternal protection. Connor's portrayal of Lucas McCain resonated deeply with audiences, earning him widespread acclaim for his ability to embody the complexities of a rugged yet compassionate father figure. As McCain, Connors exuded strength, integrity, and unwavering determination, characteristics that endeared him to viewers of all ages. One of the most distinctive aspects of The Rifleman was its iconic opening sequence featuring Connors effortlessly twirling his rifle before effortlessly firing a shot. This memorable image not only showcased Connors' proficiency with firearms, but also established Lucas McCain as a formidable force to be reckoned with. Beyond its action-packed scenes and thrilling shootouts, the rifleman distinguished itself through its heartfelt exploration of family dynamics and morale dilemmas. Connor's on-screen chemistry with Johnny Crawford, who portrayed his son Mark, added depth and authenticity to their father-son relationship, resonating with audiences on a deeply emotional level. The Rifleman was not only a critical success, but also a ratings powerhouse, consistently ranking among the top-rated shows during its five-season run. 
Its enduring popularity can be attributed not only to Connor's commanding presence, but also to the series' compelling storytelling and relatable characters. In addition to his stellar performance as Lucas McCain, Connor's contributions to The Rifleman extended behind the camera as well. He served as a producer on the series, contributing to its overall creative direction and ensuring its continued success throughout its run. Career Challenges and Resilience Chuck Connor's illustrious career was not without its share of challenges, yet his resilience in the face of adversity showcased his unwavering determination to succeed. Despite finding fame and acclaim through his iconic roles, Connors encountered numerous obstacles throughout his journey in the entertainment industry. In the 1960s and 1970s, Connors faced a shifting landscape in Hollywood, where the demand for leading roles began to evolve. As the popularity of westerns waned and new genres emerged, Connors encountered difficulty in securing prominent roles in major films. This period marked a challenging time for the actor, as he struggled to maintain the level of success he had achieved earlier in his career. Despite these setbacks, Connors refused to be sidelined, demonstrating resilience and adaptability as he navigated the changing currents of the industry. While his opportunities in mainstream cinema may have diminished, Connors found alternative avenues to showcase his talent, including lower-budget and exploitation films. By embracing these opportunities, Connors showcased his versatility as an actor and continued to captivate audiences with his performances. Moreover, Connors' foray into television provided a platform for him to reignite his career and reaffirm his status as a beloved figure in entertainment. In the 1970s and 1980s, he graced the small screen with appearances in popular TV shows such as Police Story, Fantasy Island, and The Love Boat. These roles not only kept Connors in the public eye, but also allowed him to showcase his versatility as an actor across different genres. Connors' ability to bounce back from career setbacks is a testament to his resilience and determination. Despite facing challenges in securing leading roles in major films, he remained committed to his craft, continuing to pursue acting opportunities with passion and dedication. His willingness to adapt to changing industry trends and explore diverse roles underscores his versatility as an actor and his unwavering commitment to his craft. Personal Struggles Alcoholism and Sobriety Chuck Connors, despite his on-screen charisma and professional success, grappled with profound personal struggles throughout his life, most notably battling alcoholism. Behind the veneer of Hollywood glamour lay a man burdened by the weight of addiction, a struggle that significantly impacted both his personal relationships and his career. Connor's journey with alcoholism began during his early adulthood, as he navigated the challenges of fame and the pressures of the entertainment industry. The demands of his profession, coupled with the stresses of personal life, served as fertile ground for the seeds of addiction to take root. Despite his outward success, Connors found solace and escape in alcohol, a coping mechanism that ultimately led him down a perilous path. The detrimental effects of Connors' alcoholism soon began to manifest in various aspects of his life. His relationships, including his marriages and family dynamics, were profoundly affected by his struggles with addiction. The instability and unpredictability that often accompany alcoholism strained Connor's personal connections, leaving a trail of broken bonds and shattered trust in its wake. Moreover, Connor's battle with alcoholism took a toll on his professional endeavors. While he continued to secure roles in television and film, his addiction hindered his ability to fully capitalize on his talents and potential. Instances of erratic behavior and unreliability on set tarnished Connors' reputation, leading to strained working relationships and missed opportunities in his career. Despite the downward spiral of his addiction, Connors eventually reached a turning point. Recognizing the destructive impact of alcohol on his life, he made the courageous decision to seek help and pursue sobriety. Through a combination of professional treatment and personal resolve, Connors embarked on the arduous journey toward recovery. The road to sobriety was fraught with challenges and setbacks, 
but Connors remained steadfast in his commitment to reclaiming his life. He leaned on the support of loved ones and embraced the tools and strategies offered through addiction recovery programs. Gradually, Connors began to experience the transformative power of sobriety, reclaiming his sense of self and rebuilding fractured relationships, marriages, and family. Chuck Connors' life was characterized by a series of marriages and familial relationships, each contributing to the intricate tapestry of his personal journey. His first marriage was to Elizabeth Rydell, with whom he shared four children. Despite the initial promise of their union, the marriage eventually succumbed to the strains of Connor's burgeoning career and personal struggles, culminating in divorce in 1961. Undeterred by the setbacks of his first marriage, Connors embarked on a new chapter of his life with Kamala Devi, whom he married in 1963. Together, they welcomed a child into their family, yet their relationship too faced challenges and ultimately ended in divorce in 1973. In 1977, Connors found companionship once again, this time with Faith Quabius. Their union brought forth another child, marking a period of stability and contentment in Connor's personal life. Unlike his previous marriages, Connor's relationship with Faith endured until his passing in 1992, spanning over a decade of shared experiences and mutual support. Despite his success on screen, Connor's familial relationships were not immune to the strains of his personal struggles, including battles with alcoholism and the demands of his career. However, amidst the turbulence, Connors remained dedicated to his role as a father, cherishing the moments spent with his children and striving to provide them with love and support despite the challenges he faced. Beyond his marriages, Connors' family life extended to his children, who bore witness to both the triumphs and tribulations of their father's illustrious career. Despite the complexities of their upbringing, Connor's children remained a constant source of inspiration and motivation for him, serving as a reminder of the importance of family amidst the tumult of fame and fortune. Social activism, civil rights support. Chuck Connors was not only a talented actor, but also a passionate advocate for social justice and civil rights. Throughout his life, he used his platform to speak out against racism and discrimination, actively supporting the civil rights movement during a tumultuous era in American history. In the 1960s, Connors was a vocal supporter of civil rights causes, lending his voice to campaigns and initiatives aimed at ending racial inequality. He recognized the importance of equality and justice for all individuals, regardless of race or background, and he was unafraid to use his influence to effect positive change. One notable instance of Connors's commitment to civil rights occurred during the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City. At the height of the civil rights movement, track athletes Tommy Smith and John Carlos made history by raising their fists in a black power salute during the medal ceremony. Connors, who was present at the event, met and befriended Smith and Carlos, expressing his solidarity with their cause. His support for the athlete's courageous protest against racial injustice further solidified his reputation as an ally in the fight for civil rights. In addition to his vocal advocacy, Connors also took tangible actions to support civil rights initiatives. He actively participated in fundraisers and events organized by civil rights organizations, using his celebrity status to draw attention to important issues and raise awareness about the need for social change. Connor's commitment to civil rights extended beyond his public persona. He was known for treating everyone with dignity and respect, regardless of their background or identity. In an industry where racism and discrimination were prevalent, Connor stood out as a beacon of inclusivity and acceptance. Connors used his influence to advocate for greater diversity and representation in Hollywood. He spoke out against discriminatory practices and pushed for more opportunities for people of color both in front of and behind the camera. Death and Enduring Influence The death of Chuck Connors on November 10, 1992, marked the end of an era in the entertainment industry. Connors, whose illustrious career spanned decades, 
left behind a legacy that continues to resonate with audiences worldwide. Despite the tragic circumstances surrounding his passing, Connor's enduring influence endures, with his impact reaching far beyond the realms of television and film. Connor's demise was attributed to lung cancer, a result of his years of smoking. His battle with this illness served as a somber reminder of the consequences of addiction and the fragility of human life. Despite facing this formidable foe, Connors approached his final days with characteristic resilience, confronting his illness with courage and grace. In the wake of his passing, tributes poured in from colleagues, fans, and admirers, highlighting the profound impact Connors had on the entertainment industry. His portrayal of Lucas McCain in The Rifleman solidified his status as a cultural icon, with the series leaving an indelible mark on television history. Connors's rugged yet compassionate depiction of McCain resonated with audiences, earning him widespread acclaim and adoration. Beyond his iconic role in The Rifleman, Connors' influence extended to other facets of popular culture. His performances in films such as Old Yeller showcased his versatility as an actor, further cementing his place in cinematic history. Connors' dedication to his craft and his ability to inhabit a diverse range of characters endeared him to audiences of all ages. Moreover, Connors' commitment to social activism left a lasting impact on society. His outspoken support for civil rights and his advocacy against racism in Hollywood reflected his deep-seated convictions and his desire to effect positive change. Connors' willingness to use his platform for social good endeared him to fans and earned him respect from his peers. In the years following his passing, Connors' legacy has continued to endure. His work remains a source of inspiration for aspiring actors and filmmakers, while his contributions to social causes serve as a testament to his enduring influence. Despite the passage of time, Connor's presence is still felt in the hearts and minds of those who remember him fondly. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.